Hello gorgeous souls, let's talk about dental health in general but specifically on a raw vegan diet because I'm a raw vegan of four years. My goodness, <laughs> Lumi. <laughs> you want to come in Lumi? <laughs> and I hear lots of things in regards to how people are in a lot of fear when it comes to their dental hygiene on a raw vegan diet and to be honest it goes on any diet if you've not got a good dental hygiene protocol you're not brushing your teeth you know regularly uh, especially especially if you're eating a standard diet but you know when you're eating fruit especially in the first stages of eating a, a lot of fruit the high consumption of fruit you know, you may get some sensitivities, but I'm going to explain all of that and why that happens and how you can avoid it. But yeah, everybody should be having a good quality dental hygiene. We need to be staying away from fluoride toothpaste. Most, most toothpaste on the shelf these days are so toxic, are so dangerous, they should not even be on there. But we all know that it is designed for that, to keep us sick and disrupt hormones create ill health i get many questions on my dental health what do i do what especially as a raw vegan and predominantly high fruit based vegan diet i brush my teeth twice a day i use a bamboo toothbrush and i like it to be not too hard quite soft i don't go too rough brushing my teeth i'm quite gentle and I use my friend who's incredible, Muse Terra. I'm not sure if she's I'm actually providing all around the world, but I, I get it in Phuket. She's my great friend. And all it is is spearmint. She, she creates it herself and just baking soda. Before this, I do this because I support her and I, I love the convenience. But if I don't have it, I run out, say I'm traveling. I just use baking soda. That is all I use. I do want to get back into the hydrogen peroxide, 3%, and to swill my mouth out. That is so good, getting rid of all those little particles. Don't use mouthwash, full of chemicals, just toxic. Stay away, like I said, just keep it easy for yourself. Stay away from all the mainstream crap. You can't go wrong. Baking soda, incredible check my friends out I'll, I'll put the link and see if she does offer i'm actually um i'm sure she said she does but i'm not 100 percent sure that she she provides she she sends overseas um but baking soda just get yourself a little pot baking soda dab your toothbrush in i also do like to use these little brushes these are just to get i get i do afterwards just a nice little more, a bit deeper clean and yeah, that's it. And then I say, I'm going to start using the hydrogen peroxide 3%. It's already a pre-made for you solution. And you just rinse your mouth out. Now, when you first start doing this, you may have some sensitivity. It's totally normal because especially when you're on the raw foods, your body is detoxifying. Your teeth are quite porous. So whatever's going on when you detox, your gums are going to feel it. Your nerves are feeling the acids that are being released, that are coming out. Uh, it's coming out in your skin, it's coming out in your gums. Over time, it, it, you don't get any sensitivity. I have read that they do put in um, aluminium in some of the baking sodas, so perhaps check if it's aluminium free. I've never seen aluminium in the ingredients of most baking sodas, but just double check that it's aluminium free, because sadly, that putting these toxic ingredients in most things because what it does, it starts to affect the DNA. Actually grow. Well, aluminium can cause instability in the DNA and inappropriate cell growth and proliferation of breast cancer cells. Yeah, like I said, it's an endocrine disruptor with known estrogen mimicking effects. And breast, especially for ladies, the breast tissue is particularly susceptible to estrogen like chemicals it can even affect our kidneys as well so yeah staying away from all of this toxic 
all this toxicity as much as we can. Go simple, simple diet, simple dental care. And I brush twice a day. I have heard that people who eat a lot of dates, especially these sticky fruits and dried fruits, that they may need to brush a little bit more. I have quite a balance, I'm pretty much, I just focus on twice a day, keeping it consistent, keeping it easy. But if you want to brush more, brush more. Um, if you do get some sensitivity at first, you might just find having a small little brush and just brush very lightly. So persevere with it and watch you have nice teeth. I have been to the dentist multiple times and they say I have great teeth and very healthy. So I'm happy. As a 38 year old, I think I've got quite nice teeth. If you do have any questions, then do comment down below. If you've got any suggestions, then yeah, share, share away, always open. And let me know your thoughts on if you use baking soda, if you use hydrogen peroxide, let us know. If you want support on your journey, I do have a Rawlicious app. It should be either out now or it's coming out, uh, depending on when this video is released. Do check that out on my website, rawlishisu.com. It'll also be in the description box and pinned in the comments because I'm really excited about this Rawlicious app. It's got everything you need to know, all your questions answered on the raw vegan lifestyle and fitness as well, so much and I'm really excited for it. We're just touching the surface of what this app is gonna be. It's gonna be all in one place for your sacred journey. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, also turn on the bell notification to be notified of when the next videos are. Be feel and stay rollicious.